You cannot talk like a butterfly to somebody who thinks like a caterpillar. And this causes a lot of confusion because we all start out as caterpillars. We all begin this life as a caterpillar, thinking like a caterpillar, talking like a caterpillar, communicating like a caterpillar. At some point in people's lives, they go into a cocoon stage where they start to transform and become something completely different. And during this time period, the way they communicate changes, the way they think changes, the way they talk changes, their ideas change. And when they emerge as a butterfly, they still have all the relationships and familiarities with their friends who are still caterpillars. And this is where a divide comes in because they no longer speak the same language. They no longer understand each other, but they always used to. So there's a desire to try. They have that rapport with each other over the years from all the history when they would spend time together and talk in the past and resonate with the same things and we're on the same page and that doesn't seem to be happening you still care about your caterpillars and in that way we want to bring them on the journey with us and encourage them into their cocoons but unfortunately that isn't fair for them or us because again we don't communicate in the same way they will not understand what you're encouraging them to do because it is as anyone who's gone through it knows, it's one of the scariest processes is to become a butterfly. The cocoon is a terrifying phase because in order to become something new, you have to cease being what you are. And the idea of ceasing to be who you have always been is absolutely terrifying to some people. It's a lot more than... What It's something that you can't imagine until you've gone through it, and there's nothing scarier in this world than the unknown. Be becoming something new is a very destructive process in the first half. You have to break down your mental thought patterns, the way you used to view things, your perspectives, your ideas, your beliefs, your foundation has to be completely torn up. And it's not an easy process. It's a very tough thing to go to. And we usher them in love, out of love, but it's still a very, very tough thing to encourage them to do. It has to be something that they fall into at the time in their lives that they are ready to when they were meant to otherwise we're rushing them down their journey and they will miss things along the way that will be vitally important at that stage likewise it's not fair to us because we're going to frustrate ourselves not understanding why they don't seem to be receptive to the ideas that we are you know, the things that inspire us and encourage us seem to have no effect whatsoever because we're speaking different languages, although it does sound the same. Much like in the idea that, you know, the male energies and the female energies, they are very, very similar. But at the same time, how they affect us is completely polar opposite. The way we think is similar but to the degree of that is polar opposite and there's always going to be that divide until the barrier of the cocoon has been crossed but it's not something that you can hurry someone along with it's it's their own it's their journey it's at their pace it's when they're ready and the most beautiful thing that you can do is to love and appreciate your caterpillar friends as they are for as long as they are encourage them in whichever direction that they are going 
on their own will and focus on the direction that you wish to go on your own will. We don't need to agree with the other one. There's always going to be opposition to every idea. That doesn't take away love or value from the ideas or the people presenting the ideas. We need to, you know, encourage us to be whoever we are at this point in our lives. And if we notice a change happening, someone entering or exiting their cocoon, to show them extra love as they go through it on their own because if, at the end of the day everything that we go through we are going through alone it's these are inner journeys these are inner lessons these are inner visions everything that we're experiencing is internal and it is very personal we'll all get there when we're meant to no one will be left behind it's just a matter of having patience in the universe and accepting us at, for wherever we are in our journey. Remember, love your butterfly, love your love your butterfly friends, love your caterpillar friends. Be patient with your friends that are in their cocoons right now because they're probably absolutely terrified. And just keep being who you are at whatever stage you're at. See you guys.